Hello all. Today we will be looking at a question given in gate 2018. Consider a storage disk with four platters numbered 0, 1, 2 and 3, 200 cylinders numbered as 0, 1, dot, 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 199 and 256 sectors per track numbered as 0 to 255. The following six this request of the form sector number, cylinder number and platter number are received by the disk controller at the same time. 120-72-2, are six this request. Currently the head is positioned at sector number 100 of cylinder 80 and is moving towards higher cylinder numbers. The average power dissipation in moving the head over 100 cylinders is 20 milliwatts and for reversing the direction of the head movement once is 15 milliwatts. Power dissipation associated with rotational latency and switching of head between different platters is negligible. The total power consumption in milliwatts to satisfy all the above this request using the shortest seek time first algorithm is you have to fill in the blank. The NPTEL video reference is lecture 37 on scheduling policies, course name is operating system by Professor Saurabh Bansal from IIT Delhi. So let us look at the useful data before solving the question. First, let us know what is seek time. The seek time is nothing but the time taken to move the read write head to the requested track. So when the read write head is on a different, you know, is on a particular track, track, the time it takes to move to the desired track is the seek time. This scheduling is a method of addressing the requests that have occurred on the disk. And there are different algorithms used to address the request on the disk. So this scheduling, in this scheduling what happens is we have a number of requests that occur on the disk. Right? Which request to address first is handled by this scheduling algorithm. There are different disk scheduling algorithms. One of them is shortest seek time first. Which means the request which has the minimum seek time from the current head position is selected for access. First come first serve or FCFS in which the requests are accessed in the order they arrive. We have four more algorithms. One is scan. In scan, the disk arm will move in a particular direction and it will service the request along that path. Once it at the end, it will reverse this direction and services the request in the opposite direction. In C scan, the disk arm will again move in a particular direction serving request along its path. And once it is at the end, it reverses its direction, comes back to the other end and then starts servicing request. So what it means is, let's say I have number of cylinders as 0 to 199. I have request 20 and 180 and currently my disk, uh, currently my head is at 100 and it's servicing higher numbers. It's going in that direction. So the next, if I use the scan algorithm, let's say. When I am at 100, it will go to the higher cylinder number which is 180. Then it will go to 200. And then it will reverse its direction, come back to 20. It will service 20 and stop for further request. What C scan would do is, if it is at 100, it will service 180, go to 200, come back to 0 and then will service 20. So this is the difference. It only serves it only services request in a particular direction. So what does look do? In look, the disk arm moves in a particular direction, servicing request along the path and reverses its direction once it has serviced the last request in the path. Similarly, what look in the same scenario, we have 20 and 180 the request and 100 is the current, servicing higher numbers. 100 would serve 180 and it won't go to 200, it will reverse its direction then only and serve 20 in the opposite direction. What CLOOK would do is, similar to C-SCAN in the sense, CLOOK would first service 180, come back to 20 and then will service 20. So this is the difference between uh, uh, SCAN and LOOK. So to better understand them, uh, let us consider this example. We have request from cylinder number from 0 to 199, 200 cylinders. Currently the head is at position 80 and the requests are 16, 20, 72, 86, 116, 134 and the cylinder and the track and the head is moving in the higher order number. So from 80 it will service 86, then 116, then 134 and since it's scan it will go to the end, then it will come back and service request in the opposite direction so 20 will be serviced, 
16 will be service and then it will stop what c scan would do is it would go to 86 go to 116 go to 134 go to 199 come back to 0 go to 16 and then go to 20 so this is the difference as you can see what look would do is it will service 86 116 134 then it will turn service 20 service 16 what c look would do is it will service 86 116 134 it will come back to the first request which is 16 and then service 20. So these are the four algorithms, important algorithms that you must know. Now let us come back to the question. It was given that the we have a similarly 0 to 199, 200 cylinders. These are the requests. Currently the head is at 80 and we are using shortest seek time first algorithm. So currently the head is at 80. The, the request which it will service the next will be the one which is closest to it. So what I mean by closest to is from 80 to 86 you require 6, the distance is 6, while to, if you serve 72 the distance is 8, so you will go to 86. Okay. Then you will go to 116, uh, 72 because 86 to 72 is only 14 jumps, while 116 is 30. From 72 either I can go to 20 which is 52 jumps or I can go to 116 which is 44 jumps, so I will go to 116. Then I will go to 134, that is the last request in the path, then I have to come back to 20 and then 16. So the total number of head movements is 6, 80 to 86, 86 to 72 is 14, so plus 14, 72 to 116 is 14, so 44, so it's 44, 116 to 134 is 80, 134 to 20 is 114, and 20 to 16 is 4, which is 200. Now in the question it was given that the power dissipated in moving 100 cylinders was 200 milliwatt. Now unitary method, so the power dissipated in moving one cylinder will be 0.2 milliwatt and the power dissipated in moving 200 cylinders will be 0.2 into 200 which is 40 milliwatt. Now this is our first part of the problem. Second part is that it shows that uh, for number of times the head got reversed is 3. So this is one time from 86, from 72 one time and from 134 another. So three times you have reversed the head. Once reversing it once is 15 milliwatt, so thrice will be 45 milliwatt. This is the second part of our problem. So if you add these two, it will be 85 milliwatt. So that is the answer to our question that the total power consumption in milliwatts to satisfy all the above this request using the shortest seek time first algorithm is 85 milliwatt. I hope you all get this. Thank you.